Okay, good day. This is College Algebra. I am Professor McCulley, and this is a lesson 4.1 on polynomials. So let's get right to it. Today we're going to write polynomial in standard form, and then we're going to determine the degree and label the terms of the polynomial, and then we're going to add, subtract, or multiply polynomials. So we'll start with some definitions. A polynomial function is any function that has the general form f of x equals a sub x to the n plus a sub n minus 1 x to the n minus 1. And then we can have all these terms a sub 2x to squared a sub 1x plus a sub 0. Now we've already had some polynomial functions. We've had quadratics. And if we talk about a quadratic, y y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. And we've also had some linear functions, y equals mx plus b. All of this saying is that we can have more terms in the polynomial function, and we can have values of the um, powers of the variables that are higher than 2. So n has to be a natural number. The leading term will be a sub n x to the n. The leading coefficient is a sub n. The constant term, it's constant because it doesn't have a variable. The linear term is the term to the first power. The quadratic term is the term that's to the second power. And then the degree of the polynomial is n. So if, just as a real quick example, if I said y equals x to the third plus 2x plus 3, this thing has a degree of three because its highest power is three right there okay some additional terms about polynomial uh the cubic term is the term of degree three so if we go back to this example here i can also call this a cubic function and oops um, a term of degree 4 is the quartic term. The cubic coefficient is the coefficient of the cubic term, and the quartic coefficient is the coefficient of the quartic term. Let's talk about an example. If we look at this thing, f of x equals 3x to the fourth minus 6x to the third plus 2x squared minus 5x plus 6. What is the constant term? The constant term is the term that has no variable. It is 6. What is the leading coefficient? <coughs> So I go and I find the highest power, it's 4. Its coefficient is 3, so the leading coefficient is 3. What is the linear term? The linear term is the term that has a degree of 1. And so right here is my linear term. So my linear term is negative 5x. What is the degree of this polynomial? The degree of this polynomial is 4 because it is the highest power. What is the quadratic coefficient? The quadratic term is 2x squared. Its coefficient is just 2. What is the cubic term? The cubic term is the term that is to the third power. So the cubic term is negative 6x to the third. All right. Adding two polynomials. You can add two polynomials by collecting like terms. So I am going to add x to the third minus 3x squared plus 6 and plus 2x to the third plus 6x squared plus 3x minus 3. So I'm just looking for like terms. I've got x to the third and 2x to the third. x to the third and 2x to the third is 3x to the third. Negative 3x squared and 6x squared is positive 3x squared. It's a negative 3 and positive 6 is positive 3. There is only a linear term in the second polynomial, so I have nothing to add it to, so we're just going to leave that one alone. And then 6 and negative 3 is going to be positive 3. So lots of 3s in this particular polynomial. When you are subtracting polynomials, if you're subtracting a polynomial as a quantity, you have to distribute the negative first and then collect like terms. So if there's a subtraction, we have one more step. We're going to write the first equation and we're going to leave it alone but for this one we are going to subtracting the entire quantity so we have to distribute the negative to each term so i'll have negative 2x to the third minus 6x squared minus 3x and then minus a negative will make that plus 3 on the end and so i'm just collecting like terms like i did in the last time i have 
uh, x to the third and negative 2x to the third is going to leave me negative x to the third. Negative 3x squared minus 6x squared will be negative 9x squared. And then I, again, don't have a linear term, so negative uh, 3x. And then 6 plus 3 will be 9. So that is that particular expression. And then finally, if you're going to multiply a polynomial, to multiply polynomials, multiply each term in the first polynomial by each term in the second polynomial. And I would suggest that you stack these, especially if you have polynomials that have more than two terms in them. So I'm just going to go through and I'm going to multiply x times everything in the second polynomial. So x times 2x squared is going to be 2x to the third. x times negative 3x will be negative 3x squared. x times 4 will be 4x. And then 6 times 2x squared will be 6x squared. And you'll notice I'm stacking these so that the um, degree of each term is going to line up. 6 times negative 3x is negative 18x. And then 6 times 4 is 24. And so we're just going to uh, collect our like terms again. There's only the 2x to the third. So I'm going to go 2x to the third. And then negative 3x squared plus 6x squared is positive 3x squared. Neg uh, positive 4x and negative 18x is going to leave me negative 14x squared. And then 24 has nothing to add to. So we will leave it alone and we will call that our final answer. Well, that's a quick one there, folks. Hopefully it's uh, just a bunch of review from uh, previous high school courses. Today's Marvel fun fact of the day, when the Avengers, um, when Avengers 2012 uh, wrapped, Robert Downey Jr., a.k.a. Spider-Man, asked Marvel production matter permission to take that big letter A that was on Stark Tower, an actual 30-foot uh, tall letter. The production manager declined. However, on his next birthday, the manager gave it to him being Robert Downey Jr. as a gift. So he has a big 30-foot A in his office from the Avengers. That's all I got for today, folks. Have a good day. Bye.